Okay, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, okay. I turn the calculator on. Then, um, just to run, I'm, I'm going to illustrate going out of the star pilot and then back into it. They go out of it to use the, the functions of the TI calculator, then get back into it, back into the star pilot. So let's just do something here, running the calculator, maybe the star pilot, maybe pre-compute the, the height of a star, uh, that watch time. The day. So that was, that's 18 hours, 55 minutes. That's day seven, month seven, 2019. Uh, latitude. Uh, now you can look at the star list, zero. Well, that's, uh, that's Aldebaran. Okay, and then I uh, hit enter again. And then that's 38.3, San Francisco somewhere. And then there you go. So that's working. That's then calculating the height and bearing and the almanac data for that star that particular time. What's more say? Okay, back to here. Okay, so now we want to get out of the star pilot and do something with the um, calculator, with the TI, with the TI calculator. So we do uh, second quit. And then that's clear, but let me hit clear. Now that should do it. The question that came up in class, which is why we're doing this, is that someone wanted to plot. Now you can do all the math, like uh, eight divided by three. Now look, that, I've got to put a decimal point here, and then there's the answer. So that kind of math, or trigonometry and so forth, exponentials, all that's here. The question the person had was graphing. Now let's say graph, you hit this one and then y equals, and that's a function, that's a x, x squared minus 4. That's a fine function to plot. Then I go here, here, and then that, uh, does that plot it? Oh, it doesn't plot it. Let's go back here to here. That's a function, enter. Now, second graph. Oh, yeah. There, okay, there it plots it. Okay, so that's good. Now we want to get back to star pilot, and in this case you do, um, again, second quit, second quit, let's clear that, it is clear already. Then you just do green diamond one, and uh, you're back to the star pilot, uh, like that. Now if you have to do more, if you, if you want to do more sophisticated calculations or plot more sophisticated functions, then you, I would look at our tech support online and it shows how to erase a RAM and then you have to reload the program from ROM to RAM. And that's all defined in the, in the book. So I'm going to stop there.